So today we are going to do a proper day in the life. Show you exactly what I do for work and what I do every day, bro. Trying to grow businesses, trying to be successful, trying to build generational wealth. And the only way to do that is get down and work. So right now, six o'clock. Yeah, just turn six. So uh, obviously wake up 4.30. I work until now, quarter past six, six o'clock. Then I make some coffee over there. Then I go to take that downstairs to Sasha. She gets ready and then we go to gym. We're gonna go to gym now. Then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna get into the day, gonna get into the work. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly like behind the scenes of, you know, preparing the studio for a podcast. I got guests coming over today. They are going to, obviously they're renting out my studio. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you how I do things for just the media, how I do things for just the fit. Got a new client for just the fit yesterday so i'll be doing that person's plan today so then i'll show you that i've got obviously just the media stuff with posting on social media creating content for companies and that you know obviously i've done some of that this morning so i'll show you how i you know post and schedule and do all of that back from gym shower let the dog had some coffee you need to have another coffee to be you know 100 so right now i'm going to show you what i do just before nine o'clock because obviously you know up until 10 is where the just the media social media and you know management and content creation and you know rolling out those that side of the business happens now so right now doing social media posts for certain companies posts that you know fit in a line with their marketing goals their structured business plans and I roll that out through the social media and you know just help them to build a better relationship with potential and existing clients so to give you some insight this over here is the already well one of the companies I manage radiant healthcare this is they they supply of this medical equipment and this equipment here this is one of the systems that they sell a little design talk about you know what the system does what the machine does and then you know made a little design and then over here on facebook i just posted it so, you so this is here nubian aesthetics this is one of the other the other brands that i um, help manage and it's just interesting you can see the power of so obviously i made this real yesterday you can see the power of you know reels compared to actual videos if you go to this video here you can see there's 256 views but if you go to the reels over here, so this this video over here I posted on the 10th of February. Whereas this reels over here I posted yesterday, 22 hours ago. And already the reels that I posted 22 hours ago has more than double the amount of views than the normal video I did, you know, almost 14 days ago. So it's incredible to see how much more reach you can get with reels. Okay, so these dogs, bro, they're chilling hardcore in here. They are stinking up this room. There's Kylo lying there. Drax is chilling there. So I have finished editing the podcast for Unravel. Obviously that podcast that is the second client that we have in our studio. And yeah, so basically how I edit is on this software over here. So everything I do now is on Adobe. When I edit my own vlogs, when I edit my own podcast, everything's on Adobe, the whole Adobe package I have, fortunately. So I mean, here is literally their podcast. Everything is here for them. And I won't, I will have zero tab. Like, through that sunscreen. So I just finished that, edited that, sent it to them, I'm gonna get their approval and yeah, so that's why obviously we're renting out the studios to try to grow the brand of Jester Studios, just the Jester brand in general. So obviously they rent per hour, they rented the studio per hour, and then they pay me per hour of editing as well. And you know, obviously it's going to be a lot better and a lot more seamless and streamlined when we're in the studio, because obviously then we have proper facilities. Don't have to get these dogs out of the room. Don't have to, you know, obviously it's it's, a, it's your house bro but i mean at the end of the day you gotta hustle for what you want and what i want is to be successful and build up this brand so i will happily do it in my house for the time being still an amazing studio quality of audio it doesn't matter because you know the equipment is top tier equipment that it doesn't matter if there's a bird chirping like i'm sure you can hear now at the end of the day it doesn't matter because the microphones don't pick it up as much 
So fortunately you are able to have it in a non soundproof room and then still obviously to have amazing quality audio. So I need to seriously clean up this room here. Sasha's been playing PS5 over there. I need to clean up this room because at two o'clock I've got uh, other clients coming in to record the podcast setup. So then going to set up everything here and then carry on with some graft. What is the one main thing I'm always moaning at you for? We're getting to flush the toilet. And? <laughs> leaving poo stains on the toilet. And? Leaving my microphones on the table. No. On the couch. For how you wash the dishes. Oh yeah, she, so she says I wash them so well that I scrape the like enamel, whatever you want to call it. No, 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 no. You wash it so well that there's still fat and grease still sticking on the pans. Well, because I know we're going to use them again, so might as well just... So now waiting for the people to come and use the studio. I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes on that. Going to edit the rest of that podcast and you know try give it to them as soon as possible just to try obviously win them over get the keep them coming back make sure that you know they come and they record the next day they pretty much got all their footage even if you have to work a little bit harder to get it done rather do that to obviously build that better relationship with the client so the room has been cleaned now so it's looking a lot better none of the junk is on the table anymore so just going to set up the mic the mics and everything and then they're gonna be here in like 20 minutes and then yeah we're gonna get the podcast started what's wrong boy St studio is set up now camera angle on there that camera angle on there so I started off with this lighting, actually ordered some new lighting, which I'm fetching tomorrow. So I'll probably actually put that in this video. So I got those for cost price. So they retail for 28,000 Rand. So we were obviously very fortunate to get it for quite a lot cheaper. So we scored there. And then yeah, this, the lighting is obviously one of the most important things. This is just a little Godox light. It's pretty bright, like it's definitely bright. Well, you definitely notice a difference. That's at the end of the day, these lights are going to be probably 10 times more powerful than this light over here. So I just had a client, just the shooter's clients that didn't arrive. After all that effort, they didn't arrive, bro. Sasha, what are we going to do about this? Just going to have to have pizza tonight because sometimes in business these things happen. Fortunately, they paid for the hour, so at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's their own issue. However, because the business is starting out, I'm going to just say it's fine. Still waiting to hear why they didn't pitch. It's now two hours after they're supposed to be here, so I kind of assume they're not coming. But I'm just going to tell them it's fine. Next week, we can just reschedule and I'm not going to charge them for the time today. I'm just going to, it's okay. Yeah. Yes, that's that's what you do when you run your own business is you try and keep people happy you don't let them walk over you this is the first time it's happened and you know it genuinely probably was a mistake so just kind of have to prioritize time better and hopefully these kind of things don't happen again but then we have pizza tonight so that's cool this is the actual physical light so there's three of these two more in the case and then obviously here's the one so you can see the whole light setup over here. If I turn it on, you can see the light there. Obviously, you can change the temperature color, you can change the brightness. And as you can see, it's obviously pretty bright. I mean, there's literally a whole display. If I'm changing the percentage, the dimmer, changing the temperature, Kelvin changes, so you can have like a warm. Yeah, that white light. Yeah, so my camera literally died mid sentence. But yeah, those are the new lights. Gonna chow some lunch now. Then gonna go and edit the Clean Cut Scully podcast, which is coming soon. So stay tuned for that. And thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate it. And I appreciate all the support that I do get on these videos. And obviously, I appreciate it, every single one of you. So thanks, guys, and peace.